For my Bible study, I've been split between the Olive Tree Bible app and Margin Note 4 for a very long time now, and I've settled to use both. In this video, I will be showing you my Bible study setup in the Olive Tree Bible app, and at the end of the video, I'll explain why I keep going back to Margin Note 4. I have the Olive Tree Bible on my iPad, phone, and Mac. However, I mostly use it on the phone because it is the most portable device I have. But my notes sync across my devices, so I can always pick up from any of them. In the last year, I haven't used the app on a computer, and usually when I need to show you guys what I'm doing, that's when I use the iPad. So it's safe to say I only use the app on the phone. But I will be demonstrating the app on the iPad so we can benefit from the big screen. The Olive Tree Bible has most of my rough notes. When thoughts first come to me while I am reading the word, my first instinct is to stick to the Olive Tree Bible app because that's where I usually just read the word. As a result, I have a few notebooks that are not organized, a lot more that are organized into folders, and I also use tags for some. But for the most part, I have used tags sparingly. What I have most of are highlights. The plan, the plan, which is still ongoing, is to move all of them into margin note. It's proved a little difficult because I keep adding more to them every day. But I am not deterred. I will, you know. Do this eventually. My highlights I am proud of, but they don't always translate into useful bookmarks because there's no way of telling which ones have notes for the highlighted verses. And that makes finding things a lot harder because the search tool for notes isn't the greatest in the Olive Tree Bible. However, for actual reading without study, the Olive Tree Bible app is great because of how easy it is to compare different translations. And you can download as many as you like, both free and paid. So far in the app, I use the free resources except for a few. The app itself is free and I bought an audio Bible for $30. It is fun to listen to when you're driving or during those times when you're tired to read to yourself. You can go through a big chunk, especially if you increase the playback speed, which can go up to three times faster. I have it downloaded on my phone and iPad. That way I can listen to it whenever I want, even when I'm offline. Notes are another expensive part of the app. $30 to unlock these very simple features. Now that I am doing the math, I've probably spent at least $100 on in-app purchases in the Olive Tree Bible, and I still have some items in my wish list. These are the reasonable ones that I can justify. Um, yeah, I am just doing simple Bible study. It's not like I'm a pastor or anything, so my study is basic at best. Anyway, our notes used to be this simple, but I love the hyperlinks to the Bible verses you refer to in your notes, and that you can easily read them without leaving your notes or having to look for them. This setup is what made me stick with the Olive Tree Bible app for this long, and now with some formatting for our notes, headings, and lists even, the app just got a little bit better. I'm still missing color and highlighters. Those would complete the feature and let's hope they won't cost an arm and a leg. These rough notes are the ones I then move to margin note once they're complete. Yes, my notes in the Olive Tree Bible are rough 
I've always had that setup of redoing my notes. Yeah, I can't seem able to shake off this concept of doing rough notes and then doing final study notes that are a bit more structured and a bit more organized. For a change, Margin Note has my final study notes. I'm basically building my ultimate Bible study notebook in Margin Note 4, which I sync across my devices. The Olive Tree Bible is great with linking Bible verses, like I've said, that I've always had. What I don't have, which is the reason for my using Margin Note, is linking everything else. Concepts, ideas, characters, places. I have links in the mind map and even in my PDF Bibles. It puts everything at my fingertips. And I cannot overemphasize how important this has been for my Bible study. My notes are better organized in Margin Note 4. My parent and child mind maps are very easy to identify and get to. Margin Note cements everything together. I absolutely love the app for this, and that is why it has my final Bible study notes. Finding a Bible study setup has proved difficult for quite some time now. But I'm happy that I now have my setup and this is what I have settled for. I've tried Liquid Text, which we'll go through at some point, and I'll walk you guys through why it didn't work for me. Uncle Dan was using Agenda, but he's now using Craft for some reason. And we hope, you know, he'll be kind enough to share with us his journey in the future. Personally, I have settled for using both the Olive Tree Bible and Margin Note. They're not really related, more like independent, but they work together. In the big scheme of things, Margin Note is brilliant and irreplaceable. I would really love to know what Bible setup you have, how you're using it, and why you've chosen that, do let me know in the comments and let me know if you know a better setup than the one that I currently have. Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.